my name is Raptor, and welcome back to the Slay the Spire Defect Speed Run Ascension 1. Greetings, yo. Random rare relic, hell yeah. <laughs> I think all of these speedruns have had uh, have had Giria. Like, I think all of them have. I'm damn hyped about it. Unfortunately, really the kind of best move we can make that turn. Short of just defending, obviously. See, Barrage would be good with an upgraded Giria, but uh, can't rely on it. Ooh, Blood Ball, some extra healing. Matroshka, the next two chests you open contain two relics. We're going to get so many relics here in the early game. It's insane. I'm very pleased. And we're getting some small healing every single time we go in. To a fight, that is. A regen potion, as well as a bunch of stuff that doesn't go in a speedrun deck. Uh, ooh. Trip. It's vulnerability application in AoE. I'm going to be hitting people in AoE with my melee? That's not a thing that really happens. I'm taking a real long time on this one because that will fundamentally define things. All right, I'm taking trip. See, here I'm actually going to have to play normally because you can't speedrun elite fights. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can speedrun some elite fights, but... Especially as the Defect, who has no burning blood to rely on to just constantly heal them up. Not recommended. That said, we do have the Blood Ball, so, you know. Swings and roundabouts. I hate that all my lightning keeps targeting the midline, despite the fact that I have been targeting nothing but the backline the entire time. It feels like it's trying to do it to make a point. Mm hmm. Gah! And now it doesn't know how to target the midline. I see you, lightning. You sneaky lightning. Go miss a lethal, stupid. Ornamental fan, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain some block. Hell yeah. Works for me. We're probably going to be trying to go almost all attacks. Oh, man. There's our next lift. Next. First lift? What? Okay, Ancient Tea Set as well as the Strawberry. Two extra energy in fights that occur directly after a rest site on the first turn and seven max HP. Haven't got time to hover over them. We need to go at all times. You think this is a slow run? No. Ball Lightning, thank you. Ball Lightning is, in my opinion, the meta uh, for this kind of thing. Not being weakened is pretty good, too. Okay. Oh, God, I'm going to take another nine damage here. Because I need to stop that Gremlin Wizard from hitting, otherwise I'm dead. Alright. Focus Potion's handy. Scrape. Go for the eyes. I'm, while I'm tempted to take go for the eyes, I'm not going to do it. I will lift again here. This is, this is go big or go home. Full heal. Oh. That's a relic. Damn. And we get 
Hey, tiny chest gained 30 gold and got 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. I'm going to go home. <laughs> I was definitely going to die if I stayed there. Uh... After a time, we grew strong. Developed cognitive powers. They made us work for too long for unreasonable hours. All right. Uh, focus potion definitely in this fight. Yep. No, I figured, figured this turn was going to suck. All right. Give me all my attacks in the same hand, please. Thank you. This is like extremely a race against the clock. Much as I would have preferred to make another lightning there. Okay, it looks like we're gonna meet it. We get to floor two with this build. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh, and a strength potion. Can't take bias cognition. We don't generate that much lightning. Uh, creative AI and buffer. Yeah. Ooh, none of these are that good either. I'm going to card remove two defends out of the deck. That's all Birdcage does, by the way. It's just from pick up, remove two cards from your deck. Okay. We're taking a no elite path here. We're going to be very, very cautious. <laughs> Ugh. Not an extremely huge fan of the fact they're all attacking for five on turn one. The worst they could do for me, in fact. Another visitation of the absolute worst. Thanks, I hate it. Lightning? Yes. Lightning came in clutch there. That doesn't mean I forgive it, though. Still has a long way to go yet. I'll take a sweeping beam. Yeah, because AoE is going to be super important on this floor. And you know what? It's even going to be extremely important in this fight. Mm -hmm. Nice. We definitely don't have the energy to play as many attacks as I would love. But we'll try and make up for that. Red Mask, at the start of each combat, apply one weak to all enemies. A bunch of stuff I don't want. Card or upgrade all of your strikes and defense. Actually tempted to upgrade all of them. Just because I think we're dying without it, in fact. Uh, take a Gremlin Horn, and then I'll remove a dual cast. And I will take a block potion. Just trying to keep myself around and alive. I always think I have four energy here. I do not. Categorically. Mm, none of those. Cool. There's our final lift. Now we can actually start to upgrade cards. That is to say, to upgrade them manually. Go. Oh god, I had two extra energy! Uh, from the ancient tea set. If you're noticing that I'm making more mistakes than usual here, then congratulations, you've eyes. This this is what happens. You You can go fast, or you can go good. That's, you know, not always the case, but still. You definitely don't have the time to give all of the adequate thought to every decision that you might make, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Mid of the Bone, if your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal for 12 HP, as well as the Centennial Puzzle. First time you take HP damage in each combat, 
draw three cards. Both of those are actually going to be exceedingly handy for me. Oh, that was the second chance to pick up a claw if I'd kept my money. Okay. Not that far from having everything in my deck upgraded. Which ain't exactly half bad. I mean, you know, my deck is half bad, but we're trying to fix that. And got him. Fair potion is going to be way more effective than the other one for me. Sure, I'll go here. Nope, nothing I can take. And we'll upgrade the ball lightning for the extra damage. I mean, I don't have a bunch of energy, so I probably should have upgraded the other one, to be honest. That is to save a zap so that I would be able to play it regularly. I am going to have to actually kill the minions here. Come down. And start to pepper up the second one. You're just going to take a card from my deck, and then I'm going to get it back. Hell yeah. Sweeping beam, draw the sweeping, the, the trip rather. Cool. So now I can actually apply some vulnerability to this enemy. We may actually have a shot here. I definitely do not mean to jinx it, but look at this. Now, a couple more ball lightnings would definitely not go awry. I had a run recently with like four ball lightnings on the first floor. And then a couple of thunder strikes after it. It was a wild run. It was off camera as well, unfortunately. Uh, There's no downside to it. Coffee drippy, you no longer rest at rest sites. That's not a thing we can do. That'll kill us. And we still need more cards. So, guess it's runic pyramid. I hate runs like this where you get no options of energy relics that are actually acceptable to your build. I've had this question a lot recently, actually, which I think reflects a sentiment in the community. Uh, a while ago, I spoke about the fact that I wanted to do a... It's a long while ago at this point, so... Fair if you don't remember. Um, I spoke about the fact that I wanted to do some sort of video talking about what I believe is a fundamental design flaw in the design for the uh, energy relics based on, you know, necessity versus limitation. I haven't done that yet. I hope to do that at some point in the future, but for the moment I have not done that yet. It will remain a tentative plan. Strike. Ball. Strike. Hell yeah. Regen's probably better than artifacting for me. I would take Beam Cell, except for the fact that I already have a better version. Yeah, sure. Move a strike. I mean, it's upgraded, but all of my strikes are upgraded. Upgrade all cards. You can only heal. And nope. Well, we're going to be fighting a boss from Act 1. We don't actually have a choice to not do any of those, so... Thanks. Oh gosh. I only just realized how badly I beefed that one. Okay. That's okay. We'll get some regen. And make it out of this one alive. Hell yeah. Dead branch, when have you exhausted a card, add a random card to your hand? Nope. Uh, I can't thicken my deck with agents that I may never want to play. Bag of Marbles. Apply vulnerability to all enemies on the first turn. That is extraordinarily important to us. Nope. Don't want to go to the boss yet. 
I mean, it's a speed run, quote unquote speed run, but still not super keen to go directly to the boss. Especially if there's absolutely anything else I can accomplish beforehand. I mean, I'm going to take the barrage now that it's upgraded. Mercury Hourglass, study your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Uh-uh. None of those. Cool. We'll remove a... Defend. Smiling Mask, Merchant and Card Removal Service, now always cost 50 gold. Finally upgrade that zap. Now we can rest at rest sites. I mean, I didn't want this to be our final deck, but apparently this is our final deck, so... Is exactly how I feel about that. I wanted a couple more ball lightnings. Kind of mad the game didn't come through on that one. No need to put electrodynamics in this deck. Gosh, there were so many opportunities of claws. Frankly frustrated I didn't go for them. You know what? I'm losing this fight if we're in it for long anyway, so let's go. Let's dance, buddy. All right, let's reboot for a new hand of seven. Mm. Not bad damage. But still doesn't feel like it's going to get me across the line in time. Should have played the trip before that. Would have done slightly more damage. It's not going to affect anything, mind. But slightly more damage is slightly more damage than slightly less damage. No. All right. Well, that's the best deck we could get by the time we got here. At the very least, my first barrage is going to be hella sweet. That's card reduction, but you also made me draw a bunch of cards, so handy. Thank you. No need for me to do anything this turn. I do need to play four cards in this turn, though. Okay. And that's just so that I don't get stuck with only one card I can play the turn after. Okay, enemy is about to purge next turn. So just hold off. 28 incoming damage. I mean, like, I could theoretically save myself by going... Defend, sweeping beam, defend, and then I get 16. 16 on top of 9 is not enough to defend me, actually. Cool, I'm dead anyway. Oh, phew. I feel so much better being dead anyway. The annoying thing is that with the Runic Pyramid and the Sundial, if we put a little more card draw in this deck, we totally could have actually comboed off for a really long time. Uh, but the Time Eater also would have kind of poo pooed on that idea. 16, so maximum I can play defend twice, right? Yes, because I only have one source of zero cost draw. So even if I defend, reboot, defend, I then have to play the sweeping beam, hopefully, to get the defend back, right? So it gets cast out of my hand twice, and I only have... I don't have a zero cost way of bringing it back for the second time. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. That was never going to work. We would also have to have played three attacks alongside with playing two defends. And that was just never going to happen there. So basically, luck of the draw, unfortunately. Uh, the specific build I was trying to go for would have benefit from extra energy. 
number one, uh, rather than giving me constantly energy relics that I can't use. Ho hum, ho hum. Uh, it also would benefit from extra ball lightnings. That was the whole thing that I was trying to go for. It's ball lightnings and then thunder strike is the finisher. And you just throw all of the damage at your enemies and then thunder strike for the finisher and then just heal up at all of the campsites to keep yourself around. Unfortunately, that wasn't available either. We never saw a thunder strike. We never saw a second ball lightning, despite the fact that they're common. So I'm a little saddened about that. Um, pivoting and turning that into a claw build. I'm not certain if that would have worked, right? Because the amount of time that it would have taken the claw to ramp up to reasonable damage, we still would have died in that final fight. I think, in fact, the claw build might have cost us the fight, uh, the run much earlier, in fact, had I ended up going exclusively for that. That said, obviously, if I was doing a claw build, I would have included more draw and it would have become a much more fully formed deck. For the moment, though, this is the final speed run for a while, I promise. This was just... I needed to record a lot in a very short period of time, and I appreciate your patience if the speedrunning kind of thang isn't your kind of thang thang. My name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Slay the Spy, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.